the emphasis here is on dance, is uh, dance and music as opposed to drinking, socializing, uh, that kind of thing. Although, obviously, they drink, but soft juices and there is socializing going on, but the emphasis here is, is dancing and the music. The it's very serious then. Yeah, it's very, very, very serious with a smile. Very serious, yeah. <laughs> Justin yeah. Bertman from Ministry of Sound may have good reason to smile. His club, based on New York's legendary Paradise Garage, is currently the name to drop in London's nightlife. But there's another American import that's gathering momentum. Robert Owens, who with Larry Heard was once part of seminal house act Fingers Inc., is back in town. A lot of people feel like that. Me and Larry just split up the group, and Ron, the group just split up, and we just went separate ways. And that's not actually how it went. I mean, um, it's a long, drawn-out story. But I mean, you know, each individual had to do certain things. We all quit our um, normal jobs, you know, to pursue the music. So we had to, after things w weren't going as anticipated upon, we had to do different things individually to just, you know, keep our family environment, you know, running and in order. Larry Hurd has also returned as Mr. Fingers, and his new single, Closer, reintroduces the mellow end of the house spectrum that he first pioneered six years ago. Well, we were just... Having fun, basically, we were doing this form of music which we didn't have a title for at the time. We were just doing it, we were having a good time with it. In addition to trying to, you know, sell some records, you know, we were just having fun. It wasn't really strict or do this and do that. It was nothing like that. It was more freestyle kind of a thing, you know, improvisation. Larry Heard's talent, though, is something some people have known for years. He wrote the Little Louie hit, French Kiss, and has produced and remixed everyone from Adamski to Electribe 101. The latest dance act to utilize his skills is Massive Attack. Going back to the old days when um, <coughs> my house music was started off, you know, Larry Heard was like the only person we thought was making more sort of, uh, sort of musically, you know, sort of musical house, you know, and like he had sort of roots in jazz as well. And that was kind of one of the things that we were kind of interested in. And it sort of prevailed up to now, really. And that is why, basically, you know. Because he's always had a sort of, sort of dabble in jazz type thing as well. We've, we've kind of always been into that as well. It's, he's always had that feeling, you know. He's been one guy, he's always had that feeling in his music. Welcome. At the Ministry of Sound, Robert Owens and Larry Hurd reunited for a performance full of feeling, a quality lacking from some of today's dance acts who mime on stage. Mr. Finger's forthcoming album, Introduction, is already being hailed as a classic, even if in Larry's hometown of Chicago, his records don't even get played. In the area where I live, in Chicago, no one's playing it because it's not, there's not no club scene there. So. Basically, myself, I play it. My friends who have the records, they'll play it. And um, we have a, a cult following back there also. So there are people who always wait on the material and what have you. But as far as going to a club and someone like Tony Humphreys playing it, Tony Humphreys plays in the States up, up in um, New York. And a lot of the New York DJs are behind it up and down the East Coast. Mm -hmm. 